Five facts about the early internet. Number one, the first commercially available modem was only 300 bytes. That means 300 bits per second. Considering that the standard of internal modems more recently is 56,000 bits per second, 300 bytes is approximately 187 times slower. Two, there were no uniform resource locators or URLs. The only way to find a text-based game or website was to know its internet protocol address or hope that the free net that was being utilized had a link to it. To play text-based games online, users would need a Telnet protocol client. URLs in one form or another became available in 1992. 3. Everything was text. The only way to see color on the internet was to visit text-based games or websites that used ANSI or ASCII graphics. But first, you would need a color monitor, since many early monitors were monochrome. The ability to see images on the internet arrived in the mid-1990s. 4. There was no sound. At first, there was no way to send sound from the internet to a computer. At most, users could hear tweeting from the computer speaker if the error chime was activated. Early instant messengers used the computer's error chime to indicate to a user that a message had been received. 5. The most popular early internet-capable computer was the Commodore 64. Released in 1982, it sold well over 10 million units, and it had the ability to connect to the internet via a 1200 baud modem. The Commodore 128 was released three years later and could connect to the internet via a 2400 baud modem. Bonus fact, text-based games are typically known as multi-user dungeons or MUDs. They were based upon themes similar to the Dungeons & Dragons tabletop game. They included gaining experience to increase in level, learning new skills, and players could typically choose from mage, thief, or warrior characters.